On another note, you have many young people that really don't respect older people at all. Actually look down on them brutally, even be violent towards them. And so like the old people are just, you know, kind of staying away from the young people and vice versa instead of coming together and benefiting. The youth have strength. The older folks have understanding and knowledge about things that even if you use them, you don't have the same insight. Let me give an example. If you know someone since they were a baby and then now, let's say, they're 20 years old, who knows them better, you that met them on a college campus for a couple of minutes um, or a couple of days or a semester or someone that's known them all their life? Let's not say parents because people don't really get along with their parents now, which is an abomination. You know, one of the Ten Commandments is to honor your father and mother. And parents, by not being good parents, not raising their children as commanded in the word of the Lord and teaching their children the Bible, the children rebel, the children disrespect them, the children even are violent against them, the children have no respect for them. Take, but don't even give love or appreciation or thankful or anything. And that's a gross evil. And the Lord not only sees that, but he judges it. So a lot of people, oh, my son didn't do anything to anybody. Yeah, you didn't teach him the Bible, didn't teach him right. I mean, the one who told you F you for the last time that day, period. Next topic, Matthews 15 and 4 is an example of that. that. As merciful as Christ is, he said, whoso curseth mother or father, let him die the death. Forget hitting them, that's worse. Beating up your parents, pushing them out your way, taking the car keys, or just... Whatever you do, disrespectful, that's you're taking your life in your own hands and a lot of you lose that life, even though the Lord is merciful. And especially among our people. So, to conclude, we have to make sure that we have to make sure bottom line is deal better, young brothers and sisters. Especially brothers. You're the example. The girls follow you. Everything you do, especially the bad things, women and everybody else on the earth does it. So it's time to walk as an example to our own people and especially um, our children and then to the nations because a lot of our parents, um, they weren't taught by their parents. And a lot of parents now, they haven't been taught for generations. So they're just a decaying plant, like a like a valley of dry bones. So can these bones live? Yes, the scriptures already document us coming back and living, but it's the Lord's way or no way. And the time to do it the Lord's way is running out. And all the death you see around you and experience, not only in our communities, but globally, that's the signs of the times that this world is coming to an end. So it's time to wake up, brothers and sisters. We don't have all the time in the world. We don't have time to be stubborn. We don't have time to be foolish anymore. We never did. And now even that time is more scarce. And we have to redeem the time because the days are evil. There's no other way except Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, the Bible. And no man comes to the Father but through Christ, the biblical Jesus Christ. So, time to wake up while there is time.